What's good, Team Exclusive? Welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content today. Of course, as you can see, we are back on the Plymouth Argyle career mode. Now, a few things have changed. Um, I came back onto this um, this uh, save today, and I found that it had all been reverted back to basically the first episode when we started. We only had like played four games. It was complete shit. So I spent a lot of today just. Um, just trying to get up the uh, up the ranks again. Obviously, as you can see, we played 17 games currently. Got 47 points, and Eddie Nketiah is the top goal scorer with 24 goals, with the rest on uh, seven or six. Um, yeah, I just put it on like beginner and just tried to win some games because we'd already won them. It was just trying to get back up to that point, and uh, I couldn't remember who we signed as well. So I just I basically just picked up Zidane. Was that it? I picked up Zidane, and. And that was it. Yeah, just obviously sold a few other people. I did try and I did try and buy, uh, buy Max Aaron's, but uh, he was not available. So yeah, trying to just redo all that stuff. Trying to remember who I put back on the on the transfer list on the transfer hub. Nightmare, absolute nightmare. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to sim through a lot of the games today because we're pretty sure, pretty sure we we would or we pretty much are winning all the games currently so we're gonna do that see what happens hopefully get to the end of the season today and um and yeah see kind of where we place i i, I don't know i i don't know i'm just hoping that obviously if things get a little bit dicey and a little bit ropey towards the end then uh then we'll just uh you know we'll play the games obviously try and win them and and, and go from there but i'm pretty sure pretty sure we should we should win them pretty sure we should win them now Leo Nash, I'm fairly sure, last time I played he was 60 rated, he's got the 66, that's pretty good to be fair, pretty good, um, who else put in, so we've got Reeves, is that the best we've got, I guess it is, um, yeah this international duty type of shit is really killing us, it just needs to go away, like, big time, um, Let's just put in Cooper. That's fine. So, what are we saying? Yeah, so that's the team. Not ideal. Not brilliant. Uh, we do obviously have Eddie Nketiah. We're going to swap out for... Uh, can I get that? Can I... Um, for, yeah, for um, Sammy Eto. Everyone's doing pretty well, though. Everyone's doing pretty well. Obviously, as you can see, Eddie Nketiah is 74 rated. We uh, Kaka's 89. He's gone by one. Beckham's gone up by two. To 89, do you believe? Uh, Hullet 87, 86, Ferdinand 89, Ronaldinho 91, Zidane. Um, yeah, there was a lot of free agents that I bought that I couldn't remember who I bought. So, unfortunately, they are just they're just not here. So it's a bit sad. But we are doing pretty well. We are doing pretty well. So hopefully, when it comes to the end of the season, what we're we saying, hopefully, big dub. It's a draw. Okay, I mean we've got three goals: Reeves, Bacuna, and Nash, all getting a goal. You do love to see it. It's not bad. I have obviously put the difficulty back up onto legendary for now. So um, so it should be accurate. Either way, what are you saying, Leo Nash? Uh, talking about my position, you're playing me in, ready to whatever left winger. It's because I'm playing him as like a left cam, isn't it? Um, so I don't know, it's, it's just it's left cam. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It is what it is. Either way, 48 points, 14 points ahead of the closest rival, uh, which is Accrington. I do believe in the previous save, it was MK Dons, who was our closest rival. Um, so, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Monthly scout report match rescheduled. Okay, that's fine. Um, yep, that's fine. Um... Yeah, of course, he's going in the team. I do need to uh, swap it around. L, 92 rated. When did that happen? Holy shit, I was like 87 a second ago. 92 rated. We are getting a, we are getting close, sorry, to the end of the season. Um, we are still in the Emirates FA Cup. Currently in the knockout stages. I, I kind of progressed through the group stages because I think that's what we did last time. And um, yeah, we'll obviously, we'll play the games. It's, you know, it, I don't think we're going to win it just because when we do come to play it, the teams like 
you know, Tottenham, Chelsea, that kind of stuff, it's just going to be very difficult. Um, the same with uh, the Papa John's Cup. We should we should hopefully win that one. That's not too much of a problem. Um, EFL League 1 will obviously complete within two seasons. Gain automatic promotion. That should be done hopefully this season. Um, sign two players from the same nationality. Done that one as well. So why is it not ticked though? Okay. Uh, within two seasons have at least one player from the Youth Academy signed in the first season play at least 50% of the games in the next two seasons. So, yeah, we're getting on, we're getting on to the other. 92 rated above average. We did win the Manager of the of the Year award. So that's pretty cool. Oh, the other signing we did do was we got uh, Opaku on a permanent, on a permanent signing. So um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's, he's just somebody I really wanted. He's, I don't think he's like too much of like a prospect or like, um, you know, a young talent, but I think he's really good. And he plays like centre back and and left back, so that's pretty cool. You can't argue with that. So let's just get these players back in the team. Leo Leo Nash being 17, five star, five star, currently 66 rated. It's gone up by a heck of a lot. I'm gonna actually quickly check the squad hub because I do believe he's literally shot up by like six ratings. I could be wrong, but let's have a look. So where's Leo Nash? Plus seven. So he was 59 rated, wait, yeah, 59 rated either when we signed him, which was just after the start of the season, um, and he's come along a long way, so big ups to that. He's, he's actually a very good little player, um, can't argue with it, can't argue with it at all. But yeah, everyone gets like, you know, mad boost. Anyway, Swindon, Swindon Town, what are we saying? So they've got Pittman, Payne, it's going to be Payne for them, I'm sure, so... What are we saying? 3 0? 2 0. Okay. Ronaldinho gets sent off. That's a bit un unusual. Did score a goal though. So I guess we'll let him off for that. But how is he gonna How's he gonna get himself sent off? That's a bit that's a bit weird. Look at that as well. Five star, four star, Eddie Naketia. 75 rated currently. Beast, man. I'm telling you, he's coming along. So so good. So so good. Finishing 76, you you love to see it. You really, really do. I've been training a lot of... And I think that's one of the really interesting things about this year's career mode. Because um, it wasn't in last year's, but where you could train up their skill moves and weak foot. I think it's really good. And obviously it makes a lot, it makes a lot of players that weren't quite as usable, very usable. So, big respect. Either way, Beckham, Zidane and Samieto both get a goal. You love to see it. Sammy, Sammy Eto coming off the bench and scoring the late winner. Not that we wouldn't have won anyway. Anyway, so the next next game is against Shrewsbury, uh, who's currently 23rd, was it? I actually didn't really read what it said, but uh, yeah, they're pretty low down in the table. So hopefully this should be... Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, against uh, Portsmouth, who are... Where are they placed in the table? 14th okay so again realistically this should be you'd thought this would be a uh, pretty safe game for us to win I mean looking at our team compared to theirs they've got what what mal what mo what Ma? I don't know never mind come on 3-1 three 3-0 three you'd love to see it two for Zidane and one for Eddie Nketia they didn't have any shots either 35% no shots you love to see it was steam rolling through the season uh the emirates fa cup oh hmm wimbledon oh no it's our arch nemesis rivals wimbledon uh, yeah so we are going to play this game because i do want to try and win the fa cup quite naturally um got a few players that are looking a bit tired but should be okay we'll just swap out ronaldinho for uh, Kaka, put Ronaldinho on the bench. Um, who else do we want? So everyone's okay. It's just Opaku. We'll get out for Cooper. Uh, get him on there. Ferdinand, he'll be okay. Marlos Alberto. It's just Eddie Nketiah looking a bit tired, but should be okay. Should be a okay. All right. So Ember, it's FA Cup. I don't know. I actually don't know how far Plymouth have ever actually gone in the FA Cup. So this could be quite a historic moment. But of course, against our arch nemesis rivals, 
fucking Wimbledon. And no doubt the ref is going to be either a, a, a player who's disguised as a referee from Wimbledon again, or he's going to be a huge Wimbledon fan, so it's going to be incredibly biased. Either way, um, we'll see how things go. So Dan from there, oh, yo, it just felt right. Fruman with the true save of Sir. Come on, big head by Rutullet. I thought it was in. I legit thought it was in, but. Two through the middle. Bang. There we go. That's all it took. One very clever pass by David Beckham. Big DB. Comes up clutch with a good pass to Samieto. Let's go. Bang. Samieto away again. Don't know why he keeps doing that kind of pass, but. Bang. Bang. Let's go. David Beckham. Good link up for the reverse link up this time. From David Beckham to Samieto. Now to Samieto to David Beckham. You love to see it. Let's go. And that should hopefully secure us the win against this fucking shithouse of a club. Um, so, <laughs> for again. Bang. Easy goal. Love to see it. Just ball rolls past the defender and the keeper. Pretty sensational stuff by Big Samietto. Um, You know, just throwing down the disrespect against this club because of what they did to us earlier in the season. Uh, which, if you don't know, it was full on disrespect. Uh, we're trying to go on a no losing run. And basically, they beat us. Weak effort, that is. Weak effort. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. FA Cup. Here we come. Plymouth goal. I don't even remember what round this was. But we beat Wimbledon, which is very, very nice to see. You do love to see it. It's a shame we couldn't get uh, big boy Eddie Nketi a goal. But look at that domination. One shot, zero on target. We had 10 to 7. Just like complete obliteration. It is now gone up to five star, five star for Eddie Nketiah. That's insane. That's insane. The Papa John's Cup. We are going to quick sim this one. I, I don't think it matters too much. If we lose, we lose. It is what it is. We won anyway. Ronaldinho getting a goal. They got a red card. Beckham for Hullet. Eto, Eto for Nketiah, which is obviously what's always going to happen. We only won one nil, so it's not convincing, but. We should be winning those games anyway. Easy. PSG 2-1 against Manchester. Really? I mean, that's actually what happened, wasn't it? Manchester United were beaten 2-1 by the powerful PSG side. Sometimes you don't get what you deserve from a game. I mean, that is what happened. <laughs> Career mode's a bit scary sometimes. I don't know if they actually lost 2-1, but I know they lost against PSG in the, in the Champions League, hence why they went into the Europa. But... Wow, okay. Anyway. Anyway, we are just going to make one change. Uh, Hacker, he just doesn't seem to be able to hold his stamina lately. I'm not sure what's really going on with him, to be honest. But, yeah. This dude, man. This dude. Five star, five star. Like, if, if he had that as an ultimate team card, he would be the most insane thing ever. Most insane thing ever. I want to see if anyone's been upgraded. Carl Carlos Alberto's gone up to an 88, which is always good to see. Uh, I know Opaku went up to an 68. But yeah, looking good. What are we saying? 1 0. Eddie Nketiah coming up big. Beckham missed, uh, missed the penalty, was it? I actually don't know what that is, to be honest. Um, just, don't, just doesn't actually tell you, to be honest. Cool. Okay. Well, another win on the board. Another win on the board. Probably at this point should be uh, securing us for the uh, the title. But what is this? So the Carabao Cup. I mean, we are way out of our depth. Gillingham as well is way out of its depth. Um, but we've got Manchester United, Leeds United, Plymouth Agal, Wolves, Gillingham, Arsenal, Chelsea and Burnley. So my prediction would be Chelsea is going to win against Burnley. I would have thought. You would have thought Arsenal should beat Gillingham, but it's Arsenal. Um, Manchester United would theoretically beat Leeds, but again, I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm going to say United. We're, we're going to beat... I'm going to back Plymouth. We're going to beat Wolves. We're going to beat Wolves. Um, so then it's going to be United, Argyle, Chelsea and 
Arsenal, and then it's going to be a Plymouth Argyle and Chelsea final. That's my prediction. You heard it here first. We'll see what happens. Anyway, we are playing against Wolves. Yeah, no, that's fine. We're going to keep that team. It's a very important game, to be honest. We do need to win this. Uh, if we can get to the final or even the, the semis, or if we can even get past Wolves, to be honest, a Premier League side, then uh, I think we're, we're smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. They have got a good team, to be fair. Pretty scary side, to be honest. Pretty scary side. I know my team is full of high-rated icons, but still, like... You know, those, those players could still do damage um, because I've got obviously a really good attack, but my defense is really lacking when it comes to uh, when it comes to like big players, apart from maybe the center backs. But still, you know, still it's the AI. If the AI want to score, the AI will score. It's just how it goes. But come on, let's go. Big boy Wolverhampton, what are you saying? What are you saying? Going down to fucking Plymouth Argyle. Great tackle. Eddie, break, bang, Eddie's through, let's go, what are you saying, Eddie Nketia, bottled it, no, pull it though, still got it, from there, shit, it's a good test either way, of um, the kind of opposition we'll face, getting towards the championship and then obviously towards the Prem, I mean it's going to be even better when we get to the, when we, at, when we get to the Prem anyway, because the Prem teams are going to have upgraded players left, right and centre, so Zidane lead him to... What is that? Eddie Nketiah winning the ball back. Through to David Beckham. What are we saying? Beckham. Oh, let's go. David Beckham. Absolute banger. Beats Rui Patricio. You love to see it. Edge of the box. Stunner by David Beckham. I mean, so far... One, okay, 1-0. One good. Really good start. It doesn't mean a whole lot because they're very capable of scoring. So, just got to try and... Hold it together. Oh, come on. Rude. Go on, Rude. I'll give over. Sammy Eto with the pace. Cannot be stopped. Such a game changer. This late on. Got to be a goal. There we go. Game over. GG. What a goal by Sammy Eto. Just such a good player to bring on at that kind of time in the game. Players are tired. Just can't keep up with him. Can't keep up with him. Really sad I couldn't get to Eddie a goal though. Just sucks, man. Really, really does suck. Akka. Fresh legs. All the pace. No, I didn't want to pass to him, but... Leo Nash. Can he get his first goal in the EFL Cup? Is it, It's the FA Cup, not EFL Cup. But let's go. Leo Nash bangs it in. I'm telling you, he's going to be he's going to be world class one day. I mean, he is technically world class already. I really wanted to break some legs. Um, what a goal. Let's go. Go. Can we get... Oh, one more chance, ref. Come on. But there we go. Let's go. We smashed Wolves, just like I did uh, say in my prediction. Um, I'm going to see who else won as well. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure Arsenal... Well, last time I saw, they were 2-1 up against Gillingham. So it'll be interesting to see uh, where they place. But let's go. We smashed Wolves. Didn't really. They didn't really pose too much of a threat as much as I thought they were going to. Uh, you know, the players like Adama, like Jimenez, just they just didn't really do anything. So, Chelsea did beat Burnley 1 0. 3 1 to Arsenal. 3 1 to, uh, to Manchester United as well. So, yeah, I did get my prediction right. So, it should be Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United versus Plymouth. Wow. Oh, no. Okay. So, it's Plymouth versus Arsenal. Okay. I thought they would just do it by the, the two. Anyway, no matter. So it's 62 grand so far for the current position um, in the FA Cup, which is good. It's all looking pretty good. So quick sim. What we're saying, hopefully you should get a big dub here. 3-1. You love to see it. Ronaldinho getting the three goals. Can I go back up? No, never mind. Yeah, Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho getting three goals. That's pretty good. Pretty good. He doesn't often score, so it's nice to see him. Um, nice to see him getting a hat trick. All right. So next opponent is Sunderland. They are placed fourth. So they're, they're the new fourth. Um, Hull City is it Hull City? I think it was Hull City. Were currently were fourth prior, but uh, these are the new fourth placed fodder. I mean, they got. A, I don't. Know, I don't know who any of those players are on their team, but two one. Let's go. Ronaldinho and Bakunia getting a goal. 
with Wright on their side getting a goal, so decent stuff. Yeah, see, where it put us back in the save, because I don't know why it reverted back so far in the save, um, but it was before we got the loss against uh, whoever it was. I don't know. So we're currently on a 21 naught losing streak. That didn't make any sense. We're on a, currently on a 21 winning streak. Um, insane. And we don't think we've lost in any of the competition we played in either. So that's incredible. Incredible run of form by Plymouth Argyle. All you need to bring back, all you need to do to win this many games is just bring back like Eto, Ronaldinho, Kaka, Zidane, everybody. So, but we're facing up against um, Blackpool, who are where are they placed? They're placed third, so they're top table fodder right now. With Maxwell, don't know who any of those are. So, quick sim. What are we saying? What we're saying 2 0, let's go. Sammy Eto and Rondinho picking up another goal as well. He's been getting all the goals, you do love to see it. Either way, we are playing against our arch nemesis rivals, um, Wimbledon. Nightingale Truman can't save you now. One all, what? Who got the goal? Beckham, and then he missed one, and then Nightingale got one. That sucks, but. We didn't lose, so we didn't lose. So that is also a dub in my opinions. But yeah, so that's how the Carabao looks. Anyway, we obviously are facing against Arsenal very, very soon. We've got Chelsea versus Manchester United. What are we saying for this one? So that's still got a few rounds left to go. So yeah, this is how the team's going to rock. We've obviously got Fernand. We've got Carlito Alberto. Cooper, Moore, Cooper... Kulit, Kamara, Zidane, Kaka, Beckham, and Eddie Unketia, aka the Destroyer. And get a good ball in to Kaka. Bang, let's go. Diego Kaka puts in the back of the net for 1 0. Again, like I've been doing in pretty much every game, is if we get to three, I'll probably just uh, sim to the end of the end of the match. There's not a whole lot of pointers playing it out the full if we're just winning 3 0. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. Samietto, get on through with some pace. Bang, goal. You love to see it. And that that was why he comes on as a sub, because he's a game changer. Well, I have no idea how that's gone through, but go on. He did it near post, and I was aiming far post. Like, generally, just he's that type of player that is just shit, and also, you know, in that kind of situation anyway. So, doesn't really matter where you aim, just going to go at the goal but there we go we didn't really want to play the full game but uh we did anyway and yeah we smashed them 2 nil. so should have been more but just couldn't I, I couldn't get the flow going in that game it was so so frustrating just couldn't get things to uh fall in my favor but it is what it is we got with a positive result so that's all you can really ask for and there's the big one arsenal all right so yeah i think that's probably a good place to end it off today we've done a lot to be fair we've really smashed through a lot of the season that we've tried to you know get through uh, i think having that save issue kind of probably helped us in the, in the long run it, it, it allowed us to get through the season or at least league one a lot quicker than we probably would have regardless um but yes yeah, a bit unfortunate it happened it's just it's just well, i don't know i really don't know how it happened either to be honest because i kept saving it after every single time so it is what it is either way we have made it obviously to the semi-finals of the efl cup uh, which is very good and obviously the F, uh, fa cup also smashing through as well eddie niketia top goal scorer as you can see seven Grealish is at arsenal interesting um it's a very realistic signing actually but uh, yeah leo nash there as well uh, but either way i think that's probably a good place to end off we've done yeah like i said done a lot just need to try and get um get some more players in like some more centre backs and stuff but again once we get through these competitions that will come uh hopefully quite naturally either way either way there we go there we go so yeah hopefully you have enjoyed this video um there probably hasn't been uh, there hasn't been i know there hasn't been too much gameplay but like i say we've been trying to get through the season i'm doing a euro road to glory anyway but there's some euro content on fifa i'm not sure what it is either like pathfinders or not Pathfinders, Path to Glory cards or uh, Festival of Foot possibly starting very, very soon. I'm not sure when you're seeing this, but it might already be out by the time you are. 
but yeah looks very very good so hopefully it will bring a lot of um gameplay aspect stuff to the to the game so there's there's actually stuff to play for if not then it's going to be just going to be really dead really really dead either way hope you have enjoyed if you have of course please do drop it a like that'd be very very much appreciated if you want to see more of this content and you haven't already please do hit that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family but with that said i do hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and as always we'll see you next time